Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GNCA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mistake state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very, very nice day today. Price was all over the place. I mean, there's the big gap up and then there's a, a pretty nasty pullback. And then all of a sudden, late afternoon, the board, uh, bulls came roaring back and you know back up the price went. So let's first start by talking about some areas of support and then we can talk about some areas of resistance. The first area of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that'd be right there at 575. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 575, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can uh, maintain above there and continue to maintain, I use the word continue because you can see later on in the afternoon, uh, the bears tried a couple times to press down through there, uh, but the bulls did do a good job of holding strong. So if that continues to happen, that would certainly be a huge sign of power, uh, but by no means is it a must hold level or anything like that. Next level of support after 575, down there at $5.60. So near term, 575, 560, those uh, uh, levels of support. Taking a step back though, looking at the big picture of things, it's really all about the purple line down there, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword there being moving, so as time goes by, that line's just gonna move its way upwards and look something like that. So if you just care about the grand scheme of things and you just want, hey Clay, how do I measure the health of the overall move? Simply put, as long as the price stays above that purple line as it moves upwards, then the bulls are in full health, full control, uh, no questions asked. Now what about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these battlegrounds at? As it stands right now, what I wanna do is actually go to a daily time frame, just so we can go back to the chart's history a little bit. So next overall key level of resistance, up here around $6.30, where if you go back here in the history of the chart, you can see that uh, back here in uh, the June-ish time frame, uh, there is quite a bit of uh, battling right here where the bears ultimately won out and then the price you know rolled back over and you know down it went so if this upward move can get some more continuation six dollars and thirty cents uh you know next key overall area of resistance all in all though no doubt about it very nice move today and going forward as long as the price can start building higher bases uh, then the long-term chart will take care of itself so nice move we'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not one of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.